Welcome back to day two of our five day series, the five steps to becoming a virtual assistant. Yesterday in day one, we talked about figuring out what services you want to offer as a virtual assistant. So if you missed that episode, I highly recommend going back so you can figure out what would light you up to offer as a service. Now, before we jump into day two, I want to remind you our flash sale is still going on through this Friday where you can save 20% off of the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy with the coupon code podcast. All you have to do is go to virtualassistantmama.com, click whatever payment plan you want, and then at the bottom of the checkout page, there's a spot for a coupon and you just have to type in the word podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, and that's going to save you 20% off the program. I never, ever, ever have Virtual Assistant Mama Academy this cheap, you guys. It is so incredibly worth it. It is probably worth triple the value I have it priced on, and now you're going to get it for 20% less with this flash sale. So make sure you take advantage ASAP. All right. In today's episode, day two of the series, I'm going to walk you through how to package your services into a portfolio to share with your potential clients. Now, the purpose of a portfolio is to showcase what you can do for your clients, what services you can offer them, and make it really easy for them to know what the next steps are for them to take. Now, there are two ways that you can really set up packages that you create. You could choose to create just hourly packages where you have a set service you offer and your clients could purchase, for example, five hours from you of work for this amount, 10 hours for this amount, 15 hours for this amount, etc. That's kind of a simple way to do it, but once you get really familiar with the service you're offering and you get a lot faster, you're kind of doing yourself a disservice because then you'd be doing more work for the same amount of pay. So I highly recommend as soon as possible converting into a project-based package. So with a project-based package, you still estimate how long it's going to take you to do that service, but then you kind of add on like an extra fee for being experienced in that service. So If you do a website design for somebody, for example, you're not going to charge them hourly for the site. You're going to estimate how long it's going to take you and then charge them a fee based on that plus your experience and the things that you're capable of with building that website. So that's just a brief example, but project-based packages work great for any of the services, social media management, podcast management, Pinterest management, email marketing, literally all of them, this will work. So typically people create their portfolios in Canva, that's C-A-N-V-A. Their free program is all that you need. They do have a paid program, but their free version is totally, totally amazing. And in that portfolio, you're going to have a page sharing a little bit about you, how you can help your potential clients, a brief like bullet point list of the skills that you have. The second page is going to have your packages laid out with what's included in them, the pricing and all of that. The third page, you'll have your testimonials and or prior projects. And even if you don't have a lot of experience, you've never had a virtual assistant client before, you can still include this page because you can get testimonials from people that you've worked with in any capacity. So you can just ask someone who knows how you work, a a coworker, former boss, whatever, ask them to write a couple sentences about how you are in the work environment and you can definitely include that. Same thing for showing some examples of your work. You can just kind of create like a fictitious client in your brain. And then you could create, for example, some social media posts for that fictitious client and then put them in your portfolio. You don't have to, you know, prove, hey, I've had a client before to potential clients that want to hire you. They just want to see that you have the skills that they're looking for. So by just doing a couple practice projects, you can still include those in your portfolio and showcase what you can do. All right, the last page of the portfolio is going to walk them through the next steps for how to work with you. Now, 
If you want an episode that goes way more in depth on the portfolio, I highly recommend you check out episode 69 here on the Virtual Assistant Mama podcast. In that episode, I'm going to walk you through the top five most essential components for creating your portfolio as a new virtual assistant. And if you are ready to just go all in and become a virtual assistant as fast as possible so you can start working from home with your babies ASAP, I really highly encourage you to come and join us in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy. In VAMA, I give you a portfolio template where you literally just have to drag in your photos, pop out some colors, paste in your info, which I walk you through how to put it all together, and bam, you're done in like 10, 15 minutes tops, okay? I also help you with creating your packages and setting up your prices so that it's not super overwhelming and confusing for you. I highly, highly recommend you come and check out all that's included in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy at virtualassistantmama.com. You can also find that link in the show notes. And when you go to the checkout page and you select whichever payment method you want, scroll down right under the testimonial on that page, you'll see a spot to enter a coupon code. And that coupon code is podcast and will save you 20% off the program. Again, the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy is never, ever, ever this cheap. So if you are ready for this, now is your time. All right. Your homework for today is to come into our free Facebook community. That's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash virtual assistant mama. I want you to come and comment on the day two post for this series and share what your packages for your services are going to be. Just a brief overview. It doesn't have to be super in depth. I'm totally willing to help if you have any questions about this, but I just want to hold you accountable to actually take the steps to get this going. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Make sure you come back for day three of the series tomorrow, where I'm going to be sharing where to find paying clients.